Hey, what's up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my follow 76 video. In this video, we're going to take a look at an atomic shop item uh, which came to us in June 2021 and it's called high powered weapon rags. So there is a big advantage and well, slight inconveniences. Uh, so let's not waste some time and jump right into it. Alright, so let's begin. I'm also going to do a few tests a little bit later on within this video and I'll explain why. So first of all, uh, the big ones, they look nice. The smaller versions also look nice. And the good thing about these uh, weapon displays is that you can build unlimited amount of them. I was actually very well surprised uh, that it was the case. So thank you for the Z-Clan members who pointed it out in the comment section and I decided to buy it and play around with it, right? So if we f go to our display cases, right, I mean display section, uh, essentially you'll find them right here. So that's the small version, right, and that's the big version. Now, for those who've been building a lot of these uh, displays, you all know that we have limitations. Like, for example, with the monikins, uh we can have only five, right, which kind of sucks. And it will be really nice if Bethesda would remove this limitation as uh, we can build like smaller camps but have more uh, things to display like more outfits for example so whenever you apply something it still applies to the build budget so I don't see uh, what's the point of that limitation I'm like okay cool with the light uh, you know what just remove the limitations in general because give us freedom to build what we want and how many quantities we want etc so if you could comment down below your opinion on limitations uh, that would be really nice maybe share the video with tagging Bethesda maybe that will help and Bethesda spies will deliver it to the management and they will um, this guy's got a point let's change some <laughs> alright so let's uh, jump back to the description of this specific item I personally enjoy it and uh, as I said there is a big ups is that it does not have a limitation so if you point, if you take a look on the top right corner, you have two variants, but there is no limit. Like for example, with uh, the monikins, there's a limit built five, right? If we scroll down to our default weapon uh, displays, uh, it's thirty, and it's also synced and linked with, uh, for example, the uh, Easter, right? No, oh, no, wait, Thanksgiving display case, and I think some others as well. Yeah, this this robot as well that I didn't purchase. Uh, also uh, fell into this budget so I have also um, sort of like a thinking that this was done accidentally and maybe in future it will also sink to that limitation and if it does well it's gonna be bad well and if it does then please fix some issues with these specific displays as uh, there are some weapons as you can see my handmaids over there right so let me uh, kind of jump in here. These handmaids, they look good on the default version, right? But they look really bad with the new ones. And I'm going to show you that just in a few minutes. They kind of like get synced into the actual item. And you can see just the bits of pieces of the weapon, which kind of like sucks. Uh, but the thing is, uh, you still have the ability to build the new ones, right? Uh, display some heavy guns I noticed that heavy guns they're like the best guns to display on these display cases because they actually stand out like they don't get sucked into to the actual item right like the rocket launchers uh, the mini guns as you already seen the 50 cal like over here you can see that I think it's a 10 millimeter it kinda like already starts to lose pieces of the skin right it kind of like sinks in with handmaids it's the case is even worse uh, this is the hunting rifle same thing you can see pieces pieces of the weapon is getting lost within the display uh, st structure or whatever this is the combat rifle you can see man <laughs> that's the uh, what is it uh, the lever action as well uh, the laser ones are actually looking good they're like not sucked into it because I think maybe because they're kind of like bulkier 
than other weapons like for example handmade is like this one right and the sniper rifle or whatever the laser are a little bit bigger so I think the bulkier weapons are okay to display within these display cases but um, everything else kind of get lost so yeah as I said you can combine and have the ability to display a lot more weapons if you use uh, the new display cases that we're reviewing the high powered ones uh, like for big weapons and the default ones you can scatter them out and still display in that case you can like sum up and definitely show over 30 different skins because we do by now already have more than 30 uh, skins available within this game through nuclear winter through atomic shop through seasons and a whole bunch of other ways we have acquired skins for our weapons right <clears throat> oh excuse me all right so right now we're going to my shelter and um, to my uh, kind of display room <laughs> there we have the three different display weapons that we have for now uh, for this one I already made my uh, review when it first came out let's start with the higher one right so by now you should know already understand that big weapons are cool to display but if we take for example a handmade like like say this one right here a sign this is actually good <laughs> other handmaids are bad like you can see like it gets sucks into it right you can't even tell what's going on with that weapon all right let's do another uh, handmade uh, we'll remove this one yes I know and we'll apply this one for example sign see look at that <laughs> it gets sucked in to this maybe because originally this thing is like super bulky if this uh, black or I mean this metallic display thing would go inside like you know we have painting right they have the frame and the painting kind of like pushed more to the depth right maybe it would work better and it would show the skins but since it's this bulky maybe that's why it kind of like eats it up and the gun kind of goes through the damn thing which kind of sucks anyway these are as you can see more of a thin thinner that's why they're able to display the weapon with no problemo like for example these new ones they also have a, a little down effect is that for example if you place assign this although with this one with this specific display you can put two right oh that's cool I thought it was a little bit different before ah because I had my gun made a uh, handmade with the long barrel and kind of like look differently but still kind of look good I think they did something with this display because I remember man there was something really wrong with this thing but anyway that that's cool so definitely if you see this coming back to the atomic shop definitely grab that you get three versions so that's cool uh, this is what I think it's for pistols I think right uh, small variant or maybe even uh, melee weapons but unfortunately I did not have melee weapons yeah I have pistols so for example sign here is a pistol okay that looks good and it's not getting sucked in look that's cool I actually never uh, tried the smaller version so here's a question Bethesda why is the smaller version works you can say actually perfectly when the big version works well it doesn't <laughs> but still the big win-win for uh, this display is that it's unlimited to build once again it's located in the display section right you can build as many as you want and at, so far I do not know whether this is uh, a mess up like you know what I mean right oh crap it eats screws I'm, I'm actually pretty low on that <laughs> so oh cool it actually also beeps on light over there I, I didn't notice because maybe I've built on the wall and it didn't show like this before so that's new for me as well thank god I decided to spam a little bit on my walls that's actually cool as well yeah so you know with Bethesda man sometimes things work and sometimes things don't and sometimes you find things that <laughs> just blow your mind away <laughs> so yeah uh, 
if in the nearest future it gets fixed and it's gonna fall into the limitation then maybe I would not recommend it and keep it with the default version the free version or these ones right here these have a higher priority while they do not have that limitation as you can kinda like put some of these save space and then put some of those and display a lot more guns that's my personal feedback and by the way this is the, not the only display that does not have limitations the very first surprise where these fast flash mask displays that uh, I also made a separate video on it and they too do not have uh, any sort of limitations in terms of how many masks you can display how many of these things you can build and that's actually pretty cool uh, besides that you can also uh, just the very few head awares can fit in through this one like the Bach mask uh, the super mutant mask uh, the fast Nash beret but it will be really cool if uh, we get some sort of like other displays that allow us to uh, share the head aware right for example just take a stand with the head only and we could display something like this like different types of head aware combinations like masks etc and Bethesda man this is in your own interest of removing these limitations people visit other people camps they see these items and they can decide whether this is something they want to buy or not from the atomic shop so speaking of income for you it's gonna play a bigger role as this is free advertisement for your product where you sometimes have bad descriptions for your products unfortunately alright Z-Clan and everybody else this is where I'm gonna be calling it the end for this video so if you enjoyed it you know the drill don't forget to hit that like comment down below please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube nobody see them nobody can read them nobody can respond to them so if you got something to say feel free to comment the only thing I ask of you is not to swear and your positive negative feedback will be visible to everyone and uh, people will be able to react to your own comments including myself if I see comments with profanity I, and they go like on held meaning they're invisible for everybody I read them and I delete them have that in mind only like very super rare case scenario I would unlock that comment make it visible comment myself requesting to remove the profanity because I find that comment specific comment actually really uh, informative and uh, it, I give it like 24 hours in order for the person to change the language if no I then I delete it so that's uh, pretty much it uh, once again thanks all for watching if you want to join our uh, Z clan discord server with over 150 members feel free to do so once joining the server make sure to read our rules and apply the user roles on access to chats chat so you can get access to like Fallout 76 chats, trade chats, other games chats, spoilers, uh, and so on. I mean, we have a lot of different chats. I give you full control over uh, what chats you want to see and what chats you don't want to see. So, uh, yep, that's uh, pretty much it. The link is down in the video description. All the instructions over there. And I'm going to make a follow-up video on how to use our Discord. Uh, kind of like an updated version because not a lot of people... Um, views discord but discord is like a slack if you uh, like in working in the IT sphere I know slack is being used a lot and it's kinda same thing but for gaming or like Skype but with a lot more functionality anyway Z clan and everybody else thanks all for watching I'll see you on the next video bye from the